Hello, and welcome to Blackout, North High School's Zoom-based game show. Be sure to stick around until the end of the show for your chance to enter to win an Anderson's Bookshop gift card. I'm your host, Sean. Let's meet our contestants. Please tell us your name and your favorite breakfast food. Hey, I'm Jack, and my favorite breakfast food is probably Belgian waffles. Cool. All right, how about contestant two? Hi, I'm Mr. Nouse, and my favorite breakfast food is French toast. Mmm. Contestant three? Hi, my name is Jeff, and my favorite breakfast food is a good slice of pizza. Oh, okay. Contestant number four? Hi, I'm Eduardo, and my favorite breakfast food is green eggs and ham. Okay. And contestant five? I'm Mr. Sipple, and uh, pancakes all the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now that we know our contestants, it's time for round one. I'm going to ask a series of true-false questions. If the answer is true, hold up your green item. If the answer is false, hold up your red item. And if you get the answer wrong, you'll black out your camera. We'll continue until we only have two players left. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Question number one. Aardvarks eat about 100,000 ants every night. The answer is false. They eat about 50,000 ants every night. Good job, Mr. Uh, Mouse. <laughs> All right. So who got that one right? Just making Nouse. sure. Just Mr. Mouse? Mr. Yeah. Nouse. Okay. So Mr. Mouse is locked in for the final round, and that means the rest of you, I'm going to ask you another question. Mr. Mouse doesn't have to answer this one. Okay. Question two. NASCAR was founded in 1948. The answer is true. Yes. Okay. So that means Jack and Eduardo are the only ones left that can get a chance into the final round. Okay. Question three. The world's fastest helicopter travels at 150 miles an hour. It's false, which means that Eduardo and Mr. Naus are going to round two. Good job, guys. Okay, now that we're down to two players, it's story time. I'm going to list three things, and each of our remaining contestants has to draw a picture that tells a story using those three items. The contestants who were previously eliminated will come back to judge. Are you ready? Yes. Yep. Okay. The three items you need to include are a waffle, a dog, and a stop sign. You have one minute. Are you ready? Start drawing. Okay, if our eliminated players would turn their cameras back on, let's see what they've been up to. Ooh, how's quarantine going for you guys? You know, anything exciting happening? Any new shows you're watching? Movies? Books? Trying to make it through each day. Okay, that makes sense. I guess that's kind of how all of us are trying to do it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been hanging out with kids a bunch, as you can see. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's always good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Jack, has anything changed since our last meeting? No, it hasn't. I've been sitting right at this desk every day. (laughs) The whole time? The entire time. Okay. All right, you guys have 10 seconds left, so get ready. I'm excited to see these drawings here. Oh, I know. Works of art right here. Better be good. And time. Okay. Let's start with Eduardo. Show us your drawing and tell us your story. All right. So... Once upon a time, <laughs> there was a very hungry dog. Okay. Who uh, saw a 
ginormous, delicious waffle across the street. <laughs> However, the dog's owners always taught the dog to look both ways before crossing the street. So there was also always a stop sign in order to prevent any accidents from happening, and therefore the dog had to also stop and look both ways before crossing the street. And in order for the for the dog to get over, it needs to stop and then cross the street to eat its delicious giant waffle. Okay. How about you, Mr. Naus? So, a few years later in Eduardo's neighborhood, the people got wise and decided to keep that dog out of the street and just make a stop sign made out of a waffle. The cars got pretty upset, though, because that, 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 car, that dog was always barking at that stop sign day and night. All right. Both excellent drawings. Does anyone have any questions for our drawers? Anything at all? Mr. Nels, is that a tire track on that? <laughs> What's going on with that dog? <laughs> so I did, I did. I did not major in art. So there are so, there are definitely some extraneous lines. Uh, the person in the car, uh, not really sure what their purpose is. I'll ask them next time I see them, though. <laughs> okay. Let's see what our judges think. If you vote for Eduardo, hold up your red item, and if you vote for Mr. Nels, hold up your green item. On your mark, get set, vote. All right. Looks like Mr. Naus is the winner. Congratulations. You have won a $10 Anderson's Bookshop gift card. If you would like to enter to win a $10 Anderson's Bookshop gift card, draw your own story using a waffle, a dog, and a stop sign, and submit it to the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other episodes of Blackout.